Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back to Fallout 1 and my blind playthrough where we just got through the glow and um, I had one of the best fights I've had in the game fighting a nice tactical fight against the robots armed with a couple of uh, couple of pulse grenades and I also think it was a good decision to leave Katya behind because Katya would have screwed up that fight getting herself killed uh, we got a lot of information about uh, the origin of the super mutants of the FEV virus uh, as we as I now jump out of the map here we will see that do I have the location of the military base no I don't I was hoping for that so that's still that's still out in the open hmm maybe there would have been something in the glow that I would have gotten that I don't know but uh, we'll see okay uh, here's something I don't remember how it works in Fallout. Maybe because in Fallout 2 you do have a chance to get a car. I don't know, maybe you have a chance to get it in this game, but I just haven't found out. Anyway, uh, I am currently on buff out, which gives you boost in strength, and I'm carrying a ton of stuff. Uh, but since the travel takes days, uh, I actually assume that uh, the game will stop me when the buff out runs out. Uh, but if I'm lucky, I would get all the way back to the hub. Let's see. I think those blinks... Blink sounds were my meds running off. So you can... Okay. As long as I'm not stopped on the way, which is very unlikely. <laughs> uh, which is very unlikely. Um, yeah, okay. Now I'm, I'm over encumbered right here. A lone traveler in the distance. Yeah, my carrying capacity is back to one, 175. During the travel, I went a little bit down because I took the... Uh, I took the buff out, I took the mentats, all that, so I lost those things, kind of went below, but then I gained them back, back to normal. Uh, yeah, gained them back. So I'm back in my normal stats, but I'm also over encumbered where I am at the moment. But the good news is... Good news is that as long as I'm I'm on buff out, I can carry that stuff with me. But uh, if I can talk to this guy from this distance without taking a step, uh, this will help me. Uh, what brings you out this far? Uh, why are you carrying all that junk? It's not junk. <laughs> it's trade goods. Some call them treasures. Uh, okay, so what's your story? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. What kind of work you do? Mostly with a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I helped Chunk down with their lights and showed the people in Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. Stoves. Jeez. Okay. No, don't don't direct me anywhere. I need to I need to learn more. Okay. Um, what kind of music do you sing? Uh, I mostly mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. Okay, what else do you do? Okay, can you barter with me? Wait, what? You don't trade your chunk. You just carry it around. What? Oh, come on. Why is there just an option? Can you direct me? Right, okay, so this guy... If you if you meet this guy... Uh, okay. Shady Sands is a small, self-sufficient community. Do, do, 
do they are probably the best chance for civilian junk down so you would basically get locations from this guy I don't know about the hop. <laughs> Necropolis. Necropolis is the city of the death. It's inhabited by ghouls, the descendants of humans who sought shelter in the vault there. Story goes that the vault failed somehow, so now only inhabitants are carrying on eating monsters. Do you suppose that the vault might have parts that I could salvage? Possibly, but I have one wouldn't risk, risk the ghouls. Latest word is they have some sort of powerful new leader. Huh. Well, now. Some crude but effective agricultural cards. And all, all sorts of trades. Okay, so this guy does just give some... Uh, uh, here I was expecting I could dump some of my some of my gear to this guy and uh, be uh, be done with it. Well, I'm, I'm not willing to go... I'm not... I'm not letting go of the stuff I have just yet. So uh we are buffing buffing out the rest of the way as well. So those blips are my stats going down and back up. Oh fuck, come on. Okay, at least I'm back in my normal stats, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, for the for the one trip I actually don't wish to be wish to have random encounters, of course I have them. Oh shit. Okay, so uh, I'm some sort of uh Oh great, some some raiders with uh, with pistols. Are you kidding me guys? You you really think you can you can take me? You really think you can take me, huh? Okay. Uh, okay, do I do normal shots or... Actually, they don't have that many hit points. Normal shots. Uh, this guy shot already, so let's not waste ammo on him. Uh, I need better. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a melee guy. Yeah. He's... These guys, these guys. I happen to shoot the one guy who I probably should have saved the last, but... <laughs> we draw! <laughs> Too late, buddy. You messed up with the wrong man. Them off wins. Holy okay. They have they had done some successful raids. I can't even pick the money up because I'm I'm full. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, one more one more buff out. Come on, game. Let me let me get to the hub, please. Let me get. I don't think I can pick up anything else. Yeah, I can pick up money. Loot, all the loot. <laughs> all the loot I have to leave behind. Sadness. Sadness. Ah. Uh. I don't I don't need it. I can I can leave it behind. I can leave it behind. Okay, come on. Come on. Get to the hub now. Alright, heck yeah. Downtown. There we go. Okay, that is interesting. As I did the steal, for some reason my character was able to take steps. That shouldn't be possible, because I'm... 
I'm not at my buff out stage. Okay, anyway. Katya gets uh, gets the 14mm pistol and some ammo for it. Um, she gets to carry these for a moment. Caught planting the combat armor. <laughs> uh, she. Oh wait a minute. I. She's not my companion at the moment. Right. Okay. So that was that was an, that was an actual stealth check. I I just did. Because she's not my companion at the moment. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if she could actually acro at me. You know, may maybe I should actually talk to her first. Okay, good. Don't don't go far. Wait, how? Why can I move? Wait, does does the skill check bug out the system of the weight carry stuff thing? If I if I click and steal on someone, would I be able to walk? Ah, oh. okay. can you take that? Oh, okay. It's it's too it's too big. Can you can you take those? Okay. I think she is full full e loaded. You can take those because they are the same. One hundred and ninety, one seventy-five. If I if I click normally, wait. Why why am I able to move? No, wait. Did I just use the buff out without the need? Does it only check the carry weight when I pick up stuff? Oh, I okay. I didn't even need to use the buff out the second time and the f third time. I didn't even try to click. So as 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 long as you get them on, you can keep on walking. And now now that I gave them to Katya, I can't get them back. Ah, right. That's how it works. Okay. Okay. Right, so I, I should have just walked to a shop. And I can even run. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So if I want loot... If I want loot, uh, buff out is the way to go. Buff out is really good. Although it might get me addicted eventually, but uh, it's it's like really good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that also means like for the... Like towards the end, if I know I'm going to a tough fight, I could just buff out myself with some gear I want to carry. Or something like that. I wonder if someone could actually install this uh, motion sensor sensor somewhere. Okay, I'm uh, selling those. Holding on to the combat shotgun for now. Uh, I'm turning this... Uh, turning this combat armor, because the companions can't wear armor. I, I do absolutely nothing with that. Um, and... Uh, That as well, and then I take uh, take four science books. I'm doing this with the assumption that I don't need to. Uh... She has some money, but not that much. 
doing this with the assumption that um, I will not not need money for a power armor. Uh, okay, I think that's good. That is very good. That was that alone was worth the buff out haul to get uh, get my science up. And I think I'm now. I think I'm now in. Uh, no, I'm still, still over. Of every every well, right. These these wait a lot. So now uh, now I need to read. I have that as well. But I'm not now. I'm not in a hurry because I. Uh, uh, okay, so science 40, 40, 48, 43. Because uh, I'm not in a radiated. Hellhole. So, uh, let's do this. I think this gets me to maybe 49. Okay, 48. It got me 5. Bear. Bear to 53. Okay, so it's 5 per book, is it? So, with 4 books, my science would go to. 60 and a bit 5 to 65 okay let's study some science Maybe there's a chance to get like you roll roll something between four and five uh, four and six. Okay, and books weighted a lot, especially the science books, so now I actually can... Uh, uh, okay, but what am, can, I, can I install the motion sensor into the big bar? I would really like that, because I think this weights... Yeah, that weights a lot. Of all, all these things weight now, now that we are optimizing weights. I think I will dump some of that stuff to the... Brotherhood of Steel when I get there. Uh, okay. Uh, steel is free. Uh, Sick that, that's the old one. Those ones. Wait, did did I leave the did I leave the stuff in the bookcase after all? Was she carrying? No, 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 no. This is the turbo one, and this is the normal one. Yeah, too heavy, too heavy. Brotherhood of Steel is the place to go. Yeah. Because, uh, that, that potentially leads me to power armor. Unless I want more books. Hmm. How much money do I have? More towns. I have I I kinda have a feeling that I would like to turn some of these into money and not just books. Because then I can turn the money into books if I don't need the money anyway. Obviously. So uh let's see how much money does she have. I think from the merchants I've encountered most money was at the gun runners. Guy, but I'm not going there now before I get power armor. But 
pots. How much does she have? Uh, she has some. Okay. All right. Can I ask questions about the power armor? Uh... As long as it's not related to how to get it in this game, I wouldn't consider it a spoiler, so you are, you are free to free to discuss that. But if uh, if it's about how to get it in this game, because I'm not there yet, so let's uh, let's not talk about that. Okay, I can I no point in selling any of these. Uh... Mm. Mm. Even that is beyond. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think I want to go and buy buff outs, but apart from that, apart from that, I think we will just head to Brotherhood of Steel. But yeah, because I have played uh, Fallout uh, Fallout 2, I obviously know about the power armor, kind of uh, how it uh, how it works in a game, in a way. Uh, I want to go and talk to Harold. Do we have any additional? Oh, hey, it's you again. Do we have anything? Um, anything I can do for you? Uh, heard any good words recently, Harold? I don't believe this one, but, uh, some say an army of mutants is on the way. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> oh, I love Harold. Harold is the best. Harold is the best. I think Harold, Harold still, seeing Harold here... I think Harold's finest moment, by far, is in Fallout 2. Like, ha Harold, Harold is Fallout 2. It is, it is so good. It is so good in Fallout 2. No spoilers for those who have not played Fallout 2, but Harold, Harold peaks in Fallout 2. It is, it is amazing. Uh, what am, why am I walking in here? I have no idea why I'm walking here. Uh, there is the... No, it's it's not here. So I was I was thinking about talking to the science guy, but that was in uh, that was in Boneyard. Okay, I, I I was supposed to go and buy the meds, but Harold distracted me. Damn her, damn, damn Harold, such a good character, amazing. Buff out. stuff okay, buff arts. six 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 I didn't expect buff arts to be that cheap to be honest uh, what will I give for you I I think, I think we are done using the pistol. Yeah, the only thing would be like doing aimed shot with uh, with a sniper rifle, but that's kind of a. On the other hand, that is that is very good at that. Yeah, the combat shotgun is gone. We are. It is decided. It is decided. Be gone. Econ shotgun. 
we are we have decided what we what we have oh come on i thought you have more money mm mm, -mm. Okay, a couple of psychos. Uh, all the steam bags. And that's don't wait anything, but I don't really need the intelligence. How much how much you give me I think give me for those? Uh. I don't think I'm actually using anything with the small energy cells. So I also give you those. Yeah. Then I give you those. Yeah, that's uh now we are getting there. Ton of red away, a ton of red eggs if I need, if I get poisoned, even that, man, that's is fine. These are kind of, uh... The pulse grenades are one thing. But I guess the, if, if the plasma grenade actually do like a, even like 50, 50 damage on someone, that, uh, that could work pretty well. Most of the most of this stuff I will I will just dump somewhere. Like, I'm not sure if I actually need the holodisc. Maybe I can hand them over to uh, to the Brotherhood or something. I'm actually even guessing. I'm guessing here uh, when I delivered uh, ancient ancient tape and get access to the Brotherhood, they will send me on a mission. Would send me to the mission to uh, explore the place further, and uh, and then I will. Hey, I did it! I did it! Uh, what day it is? Are you actually kidding me? The caravan caravan was again missed by one day. But I could have taken the guaranteed fight caravan to Brotherhood of Steel. Second time 18th. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they say when I actually bring what they wanted. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Sure did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. If this guy screws me over, yeah, yeah. This is great. Hang on while I open the door. All oh, right, that's right. I did, I did read books. So in this, in this case, it was my own fault. Okay, door is open. Two thousand experience for becoming an initiate. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I greet people here? at the gates and decide whether to let them in. You and the merchants are about the only ones that get in now because the elders seem like they're preparing for something. Mm, do you know what it could all be about? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other elders. Okay. Go ahead. Any good rumors? Well, 
So the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. <laughs> he he spills the beans right away. Even that Zyva... Uh, kind of a... Uh, he... I just gave him a holotape. He didn't even check what's on the holotape. Anyway. <laughs> why? Well, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other Elders. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, thanks. What about this other guy? Hello. Okay, he stopped talking after... Uh, he doesn't even say... I, I just did the most badass mission like any initiate has ever done in the history of Brotherhood of Steel. And this guy says hello. No, absolutely no, no, uh... Ah, anyway, okay. They did bring, they did let Katya in without Katya being initiate. I fooled them. Um, Paladin and a Paladin. Catling laser. Good day, initiate. Hey there, Lex. You're looking mighty fine. What time should I pick you up? Okay, I have to go for this one. <laughs> You're looking mighty fine. What time should I pick you up? That's pretty funny. You are choking, I hope. Actually, don't answer that. I don't think I want to know. Real funny. <laughs> Almost as much as your face. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's be disappointed. Thanks a lot. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. I'm sorry. It's just that you outsiders have such a strange ways of talking to people sometimes. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, uh, yeah, where's the, where's the High Elder? Uh, Maxon, the High Elder, can be found on the fourth floor. If you take the other elevator down to level four, oh shit, there's four, four, four floors to explore. You should be either in the council room or the elders' room. Uh, where can I get some better weapons? You should talk to Talos. And I should also tell Talos that we saved the uh, guy, whose name I don't remember anymore. Hopefully, my character does. Um, during the day, Dallas is normally supervising in the training hall. Do you know where is that? Uh, no. The training hall is right around the corner. Just go down this corridor, make a left, go through the door at the end of the corridor, and it will be through the door on your right. She is so helpful. Thanks, thanks, sugar. You know you're looking mighty fine. What do you say? What do you say? You and me check check out each other's equipment later. <laughs> what time do you get off? Come on, we we were we were already turned off at the beginning of the conversation. We are not going to push it now. Uh, wait, a training hall. Do you think I could get some training there? I'm a member of the Brotherhood now, right? Well, yes, you are a member of the Brotherhood, but elders have put a hold, put a hold on all training on new initiates. Why? There are rumors about some kind of army. Okay. We strongly believe that training a few fighters extremely well is better than giving mediocre training to a bunch of fighters. Saving lives is one of our primary objectives. Give me one of those power armors and I could whoop the ass of each and every one in this place. Well, probably actually not because I don't know energy weapons. So let's hold on that, that line for now. Uh, you could probably get quite a bit out of, out of the training just by watching. Brother Thomas is the best trainer we ha we've ever had. Huh. Uh...
I, I could say that, uh, like, wouldn't I deserve I, I'm just saying, I'll take a look. I'll take a look, that's good. Okay. Right. End of the hall. Take a right. I also love that the instructions were from the point of view point of view of the of the person's eyes. So down the hall, to the left, end of the hall, to the right. Instead of directions we are seeing on the map. Love it. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's probably then uh, Dallas, yes. Uh, there is Thomas. I can probably just stand there and learn something about uh thingamachingi. Uh, hand to hand combat, I mean. There's Michael. I don't know who Michael was. Senior scribe. Senior scribe. We'll definitely go and talk to Talos. Uh, probably the first thing. We'll probably go, go loot their lockers as well. Just because why not? Um. Yeah, let's let's tell Talos that uh, let's tell Talos that we saved a guy. Hello, stranger. I heard you're the one to thank for the safe return of my mission innocent. You're welcome. Oh, he already knows. Oh. <gasps> As for your reward, I'll give you the choice of one of the following. Rocket launcher, laser pistol, super sledgehammer, power fucking armor. Yes. And here I was thinking if I need to pay for it, how will I get one? Yes. Yes. Right away. I'll key your authorization right now. Go pick it up from Michael. Just like that. Okay, who did we save? Who did we save? <laughs> Use... <laughs> I, I was mousing over, and instead of hitting this guy, I accidentally went a little bit to the left, so I saw Brotherhood student, Brotherhood student, Brotherhood student punching back. <laughs> Okay, let's go watch. Let's go watch Thomas. Hmm. I wonder if it would actually... Okay. Okay, this is cool. If I actually get the experience just literally standing here. Don't rush the attack. Alright, my little one. Try to hurt poor old cramps. Okay, so uh, so Thomas is old. You see how he lost his balance? Overextending, overextending yourself leaves you open for a counterattack. When you attack, be sure not to overextend. Why is overextending so bad? If you have the opportunity for a kill, shouldn't you go for it? That's a lot. That's a lot to risk your life over. Ooh! You gain one skill point of in unarmed combat. In melee combat. Melee weapons. Unarmed combat. Oh, oh, whoa, ah, so much. Okay, let's... Wait, what? How much was that? Hell yeah! Boom, baby. All right, can I be? Uh, let's let's talk to. Uh... Oh wait, can I? Okay, I can. Oh. Behave over there, or you'll find yourself on night perimeter control. As I tried to talk to Thomas, I immediately got disciplined over it. I I don't think I will get more just by standing here. Will Will Katya gain this as well? Because. She she actually is using a knife occasionally. Right? 
<laughs> so so Thomas is basically its old old gray beard, white beard sensei grandmaster in here. I hope you all noticed how uh, Brother Andre did not overextend himself. He also tried to use my weight and bulkiness against me. <gasps> 500 experience more! Ooh. Good job. Okay, one more, one more presentation for just for just to hear what Thomas has to say. That was pretty good. Oof. Keep your center of gravity low. Oh yeah, I think I think it is done. Thomas is just whooping their ass now. <laughs> this is my kind of XP farming. Yeah, this is the best kind. Just go to a room and do nothing. Yeah, this is, this is the best. But this is this is actually really cool. Like instead of instead of just uh, going and saying, "Hey, train me," and then uh, like a uh, time passes and uh, now you know more. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure the 500 experience was the queue that uh, we are done. As it as it started repeating after that, it went like unique when I entered the room. Okay, so this is Michael. Give, give me my power armor, Michael. Hello, brother. How can I help you? Uh, let's first of all ask. Please excuse me for asking, but what do you do for the brother for our, our brotherhood? Ah, good, my character is learning. Be polite as F and uh, uh yeah. Oh, nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies out of out for, out to people. Oh come on, that is a that is a respectable job there, Michael. I'd like to check out something. How do I do that? You need to have a proper authorization. Only specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply room. Well, I have been given authorization to check something out. Could you check the terminal to see if it went through yet? Okay, let me see here. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Ah, yes, you do have authorization to check something out. Hmm, powered armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give out more than one set. Was there another item you needed? Uh, no, that's it. Thanks, Michael. Let's gear up, boys. We have peaked. 85 pounds. Our carrying capacity was 175 before this and we are carrying 237 now boom armor class from 30 to 35 carrying capacity 250 heck yeah heck yeah amazing amazing so of course this weighs a lot so it eats a little bit away from it, but we also have a strength of uh, strength of nine, so plus uh, plus four, I believe. I all of a sudden forgot how much how much strength did I have? No, it it does it give the bonus from the base? Let me, uh, let me see. Let me just see. Yeah, because I have five. Uh, I have five and gifted. It's either plus three or it works from the from the base base, even without the gifted, which is actually pretty interesting. I thought I would get ten, the way I built my character, but this is fine. Amazing, and I think we can get this powered up. 
with the scientist in the boneyard. Okay, but these guys don't deal with money. Well, actually... Uh, uh, okay, we need to speak with Elder. Uh, maybe we'll get uh, authorization for some... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what could it be. Uh, wait, what is, is this? Also, why does, why does the character have to wear... A helmet, while the, while the Brotherhood wants. No, no dirty laundry in there. Ah, disappointments. Hmm. So is this Rhombus, a named guy? So let's just. Let's just walk straight into, as a stranger, into uh, someone's room. Hello. May I help you? Who are you? Can I ask you a few questions? He answered, he answered nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, so, who are you? I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. So, I just got in as an initiate, and I immediately rush into the head of the Paladin's room without permission. Um, can you teach me some? No, what do the Paladins do? The scribes copy the plans for the weapons, and the knights make them. The paladins protect the Brotherhood from harm. Uh, what kind of harm could there be? Many covet our technology. We have at least four attacks a week, from raiders to just people who want to steal what we have. Mm, okay, can I ask you something else? Uh... Can you tell me about the surrounding area? The hub and the boneyard are south, mountains are east, and desolate wasteland north. Whoever goes there never returns. Hmm. Well, I am from the no north, Rhombus. <laughs> Watch him for 20 minutes and see if you get XP. <laughs> That's a bad tip. Um, okay, tell me about yourself. Holy shit, well, okay, don't get angry. Okay, so he doesn't like to repeat himself. I love this game. I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I train those willing to learn. Oh, that's, uh, oh. Uh, I, I can't recognize the voice, but whoever this is, it's fantastic. That was so good. I said, I am Rhombus, head of the Paladins. I love that I said when I asked the same question. That is so good. Okay, can you teach me some stuff? Stuff. I could teach you how to fight, if you had any ability. But the High Elder decreed no training of new recruits <laughs> until the threat of invasion passes. Oh, I, I'm so tempted in going. I could easily defeat you in battle. You would probably, like, pull a, pull a Gatling... Gatling laser plasma rifle out of his ass and just kill me here just for saying that uh what bread it is not my place to answer see the high elder if you wish okay can i ask something else what do you want <laughs> just how cowardly are you know few questions uh can you give me some history behind the brotherhood dr vree in the main library all right all right. Thank you. Not even a goodbye. Fuck you, Rumbus. Okay, where is the where is the main library? Hmm. 
probably on some other floor because these were the scribes. Uh, I will go talk to uh, the scribes later. Let's go see about the uh, other room. Uh, so many, so many floors. Scribe, scribe, knight, instructor for the Brotherhood initiates. Hmm, maybe, maybe that one could actually help me because no one told me what to do. They just told me to get in, and then, uh, by the way, you're not getting any doc. You're not getting any training. There's a doctor here. Well, I, right. I, I should. Cherry, a young initiate. Maybe I should actually go and talk to. Uh, the elder first before anything. I guess that's uh, that's what I actually would need to do. But I I do want to talk to this uh, instructor for the Brotherhood initiates. I'm sorry, but I can't talk right now. I have a class to run. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go talk to elder. Well, maybe maybe I'll check the. If if something looks like a library, I could could listen to the history lesson before I go talk to the elder. Um, Sophia, instructor, and there's Re. Okay. Man, why why don't they have someone gar guarding here a library? But then they have two guys on top. I don't know. These 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 people are weird. Um, okay, there's Sophia and there's Free. Let's first talk to instructor for the Brotherhood Initiate, Sophia. Greetings. I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? May I be of service? Uh, what is this place? This is the library. Here we keep records of all technical data on weaponry and technology, and of course the history of the Brotherhood. Um. Is this a, the place where I would find holodisks? We have many holodisks here in the library. They are divided between history, technology, and weapon design. Um, well, I was sent here to ask Re about the history of the Brotherhood. My area of speciality, speciality is Brotherhood's history. It seems that some people around here have forgotten the importance of our history. Well, what can you tell me about the Brotherhood's history? Well, it's good to see someone interested in our great history, unlike others around here. Here you go. This is a disc of some, some of our earliest writings. Thank you. <laughs> I don't care about this crap. Thanks for nothing. No, thank you. Um, what are you doing here? No, wait. Did I did I miss a chance to for those other things? Uh, what is it you do? Uh, Brotherhood of Sicily. Uh. Ah, okay. Maybe the other things I can talk from Vree. So he gave me the history and the other things is probably okay. Uh, I will go ask Vree. Okay. Vree. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I know you're the master, master scribe, but what does that mean, Vree? And nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> Let's go straight into questions. I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Interesting. That means you know stuff. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. Just wait until I show you what I have on my holodisks. Well, you probably actually know the information already. Because they are preparing for the war. Anyway. What can I help you with? Um, I'd, I'd like to know more about the weapons we make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I heard something about holodisks. Says I, with a backpack full of them. Uh, how can I read them? Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the discs. 
insert the disk into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Computer skills, you say? Where can I learn them? The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Heck yeah. Up, up. So, if we do this, yes, I think it will work. Highly advanced Brotherhood computer. Okay, should I now talk, talk to Vree or use the computer? What can I help you with? Mm. Um, how can I prevent? Okay, I, I can't even I can't even get out of the uh, dialogue without asking something. Uh, how can I prevent radiation poisoning? You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Okay, thanks. Okay. A uh, highly advanced Brotherhood computer. Let's science the heck out of this. Can it get there? Wait, what? Do I need to get to the next one? Ah, she's still working on it. Okay. She's still on the way. I'm confused. Work faster, Re. You have the computer skills. The okay. Do I have access now? Is that what you meant? Okay. I, I'm. What can I help you? With? Okay. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> um. Um. Okay, let me let me ask that again and not interrupt her. Uh, Use your Hollow Disc Boy two thousand to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, okay. you should be able to go ahead. I could I couldn't I couldn't uh, ask again about the computer skills. I might have might have uh, messed up, or I need to wait for her to step away. Um, Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However. If we can hold out, everything will be okay. Mm, why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Interesting theory. Any proof? Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. What, what, why did you just wink at me after talking about reproducing? Uh, okay, thanks. Fine, I will I will steal stuff from your locker then. So she's standing in front of the computer I should be using. Uh Radio History Thank you. Uh, I wonder if I if I actually got something. Let's uh, let's read all those. Uh, at least read all the holodisks into my into my bit boy. So we have the disc that Sofia gave me. Uh, and this is the autopsy. have those already and uh, these these I already had read
Breeze Experiment Tape. Okay. Um, I start. I couldn't see the history there. Maybe, maybe I actually need better. Maybe I need better computer skills or something. Um, Breeze Experiment Tape. This is truly amazing. Some of the knights on patrolling expedition came across unusual creature. This creature appears to be humanoid, and quite possibly was once a human, st once of a human state. However, there are many differences in the structure of this creature than that of a normal humans. Subject A. 3.2 meters. 360 kilos. Gender indeterminate. Mass breakdown. Ooh, 3% body fat? Jeez. Okay. Hello. Uh, okay, what else? Green. Tints of green skin. Uh, initial hypothesis. Based on the increased size. Da -da -da -da. Subject A. Black powder burns near the area suggests possible bullets. Skin dried out and flaking. Hmm. Oh, rats. Uh, wait, what did, what did they do? Determine possible cause of death. Um, forced evolutionary virus 2. Severe overdose. Ah, uh, okay, so they know about FEV2. Hmm. It's been killed in a severe fight of at least two people and three animals the size of dogs. Hmm. Life ex expectancy is increased by 10%, intellect is decreased by the strain by 30%. Ah, uh, right. So that's why some of them actually might be dumb. Based on the fact that these mutants have a super high concentration of the virus, it stands to, to reason that there could be some place which is creating them. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's Sophia's tape. Um, the history of the Brotherhood. The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Raving bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on, the, on that noble group. That company itself was in no danger, for they wore the armor of power. Members of their families were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out they were easily repelled, they began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. They took a great many casualties, yet for every member of the Exodus that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took, took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxon, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home and all was well. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home, our temple, and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress into something glorious, the beauty of which technology bereft the world had never seen before. Yet there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxon warned these impetuous youths that their research facility was doubtlessly destroyed when we were spared, but they would not hear his words. They took their sanctified armor and headed off to find their holy grail, but not before they spoke the deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from again. Until now, because I have the information. Dun dun dun! Okay, can I use this? You are access denied. Okay, uh, I think I need to come. I think I I did something that messed this up. I'm pretty sure. Unless I need to use science on Bree. <laughs> okay, that's that's not. <laughs> oh, she left. She left. She left. Come on. 
Is she not remembering how to how to give me the computer lesson? Do I need to science my way in? Fail to learn anything. Come on. Okay. Now now I'm super confused what 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 just happened. I was supposed to get an access for the computer. Computer thing and she's just confused. Is she still opening? Maybe I interrupted her. Yeah, I think I messed up somehow how to actually get the computer skills thing. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I was not patient enough here. I should have uh, stood here uh, just watching for uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> Come on, Reap. Do it. Hmm. Okay, I will I will come back. Maybe I will unlock the computers with high enough uh, computer skill and then I will amaze everyone. Oh. Here we are. Back we go. <laughs> Did she actually took that that time? Okay. No, wait a minute. She 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 said that same thing before. She just said here we are, and then uh, then she went to this one. What was the formula again? Ah. Uh, okay, I'm 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 still confused. Uh, do -do -do -do. This should correct that. There. Okay, we will come back. Yeah, she was she was just doing it. I might have interrupted whatever she was going to do with the computer thing by talking to her too soon, and it kind of messed it up, or it was not working to begin with, I don't know. Let's go talk to the Elder. General Maxon with Mathia. Mainframe. No one is guarding the mainframe. Are they just relying on what? They are the elders there. Are they just relying on locked doors when it comes to protecting the mainframe? But they are they are actually guarding like a library or a, or the training room. Okay, let's first talk to the one on the side. For the Elder. Hello, Initiate. So you are the one who made it out of the Ancient Order alive. Uh, and who are you? My name is Mattia. I am officially Maxton's, Maxon's assistant. But I'm also here to make sure no one messes with the old man. Okay. So what do you do as, as an assistant? I take care of all the paperwork. He could not do paperwork to save his life. Also, if he clears a weapons upgrade for one of the brothers, I process the order. Ah, thank you for the information. Okay, Mr. Mr. General Maxon Man. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know, outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Kind of like me, huh? Yep. Um, 
Uh, everyone here seems to be on edge. Maybe you can tell me. It's like we are getting ready to go to war, but no one knows with who. Well, the merchants from the hub told us a bunch of caravans disappeared on their way up north. I think there's an army in the mountains. But the elders, uh, they don't want to act until they're sure. Well, I have found proof that the, it is this army which is causing the disappearance of the caravans. It is an army of mutants. You have a good reason to be worried. They look very formidable. Then you understand the problem. To survive, we need someone who knows the outside. Like you. Oh, I can... <laughs> <laughs> I can actually ask for money. No, I'm I'm going there, but uh, I I actually can't discuss the findings I did in the place where no one has ever gone, and you are not a bit interested in what I found. And the holodisks? Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. Good. Anything else you need to ask? Um, do I want to ask for better weapons? I guess I would, because I would sell them elsewhere, if nothing else. Um, would it be possible for me to get hold of some better weapons? Well, I suggest you talk to my assistant, Mathia, about that. Okay, pipe. Uh, Maxon has cleared a weapons upgrade for you. What would you like? Hmm. None of those are really like good for me. And I wouldn't use them because I already have the Turbo Plasma Rifle that I know I will be using. I already have a Sniper Rifle. I don't have a Rocket Launcher and I have not even seen one, I think. Uh, I'm not a like melee character, so Reaper is not out of uh, unarmed. I'm not a Power Fist guy. Uh, but yeah, rocket launcher is big gun, big weapons or big guns, which I'm not gonna use. So whatever I pick will be for selling. But I'm curious in the power fist, so I think I will get that. Yeah, I do have like some sixty odd percent in the in the unarmed. So with. Uh, this might come handy in clutch, possibly, but it also needs to be powered. I don't know. Anyway, let's take that. Uh, what the hell do you want now? Uh, some questions. Shoot. Mm. Do you know anything about the Death Claw? No, oh, just another stupid rumor. Some people say it's a huge fanged monster, and others say it's a vampire. Ah, oh, these guys are so clueless. Um, sure. Uh, what elders? Well, you see, there's four of them. And that's about all they can ever agree on. They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick a pot to piss in. All sure. right. What is the Brotherhood's main purpose? Our main goal is to survive. The scribes copy old plans for weapons or design new ones, and the knights make guns from them. Most guns come from us. Right, I should talk to one of the knights. Uh, maybe I'm gonna learn sure. something. Uh, history? Look, I don't have time for a story that long right now. Here, all of us grew up on this. Mm, I wonder what, sh what he gave me. Okay, then thanks. Get out, I have work to do. Sure. Wow, I expected some, a little bit more recognition for actually getting into the glow and uh and uh alive but yeah no one no one gives a <laughs> no one gives a crap oh jeez um maxon log 
By my orders, as active commanding officer following the untimely death of Colonel Robert Spindle during this time of crisis, the full base security team has been deployed to the security bunker at Lost Hill. This directive also includes the families of the officers and enlisted men. Unless otherwise directed from a proper representative of the War Department, this order will stand as written. Operative 1. All military personnel and their families are to vacate the base by... Uh, 8800 hours, 25th October 2077. All personnel traveling under command will make their way to Lost Hill Base. No leave has been granted. Uh, operative 2. All civilian personnel are directed to remain at base, pending orders from their legal command structure. Uh, operative 3. Equipment deemed necessary to the survival of base military personnel is to be immediately drawn from stores. Proper authorization will follow, time permitting. All goals are military justice will be harshly enforced, blah 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 blah, blah until such time as consistent and authorized communication can be established with the War Department, these orders will have precedence over any previously established orders. Captain Maxon, 24 October 2077. Well, I just came here for the power armor, so uh, I don't really care. Um, Pretty sure I couldn't couldn't talk to the elders. Um, I will check the library and I will check the second floor if I could talk to some of the knights. Uh, yeah. It, it feels like I probably need to fix the computer myself to uh, proceed with that. Uh, wait, was there? There was something... Something interesting here. Like, yeah, there's some knights here. wonder why don't they have the power armor, these guys. Ooh, who is that? I want to check out that room. Uh, they are building stuff. Knight Paul, yes please. Ah, so you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Um, uh, who are you? I'm Paul, Head of Energy Weapons Development. Uh, what kind of energy weapons? Laser, plasma, you name it. I've built it, at least rebuilt it. Uh, any chance I can get one? You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. I can authorize... I can't authorize one for you. That would you have to see Talos. Uh, wait. Uh, Reed told me I could see a new weapon. Yes, the latest in hand hand laser technology. He takes small pistol from a work table and hands it to you. Okay. Uh it's nice. Can I keep this? That one won't do you much good. It's still lacking the lenses and amplifier. He takes the pistol back from you and puts it into the work table. If you really want one, go talk to Thousand Michael. So is it just normal laser pistol? <laughs> I'm I'm confused. Uh uh, anyway, um, can I ask you something more? Uh, new weapons, Michael. Where can I find them? Uh, I can't bother with you. More questions. Can I see the pistol again? Uh, what kind of damage will this do to a person? In the hands of a skilled warrior, it could cut a person in half. At the beam will shear flesh faster than you can run your finger through sand. Um, okay. Like, uh, I would like guess they would be like a little bit interested in uh, in the stuff I sold at the hop and didn't bring them. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I should have brought the laser pistol from the glow to these guys instead of just selling it's crap. I didn't even think, but might not work, but uh, I definitely should have brought it here. Oh, so you're the one, huh? What? Nothing. It's just that no one has ever made it back from the ancient door. Finally! 
Finally, someone who recognizes my awesomeness. Uh, uh, I mean, mm, what do you do here? I fix stuff, run maintenance checks, that sort of crap. What kind of stuff? Power armor and anything else that needs fixing. Uh, how can I get my hands on some power armor? Asks I, wearing one. Uh, I'd give you this power armor right here, but it's missing a systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Uh, could someone get one of those? Well, they got more than enough in the supply room, but Michael and his damn forms say that this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. Uh, what do you mean, not up for specs? You see this eyepiece right here? I had to resolder it in piece, and it's... Don't look as pretty as it needs for inspection, I guess. Ah, interesting. So if I brought you a systolic motivator, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan your manual and my tools up, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Okay. Uh, well, besides Michael, where else could I get one? Well, 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 Rombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the honored are supposed to wear these uh, these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Interesting. So I could get a second pair. Well, I, I don't need it. But another way to get the power armor would be to sneak into the head paladin's room and steal some uh, some parts. Ah, oh, that's so weird. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I definitely think I need to fix those. Fix those uh, computers. Uh, I did see then some young initiate, but was it on this level? Just the doctor. I should talk to the doctor. Who, who knows what I will burn? And then, uh, yeah, Cherry, a young initiate. But after that, I think we. Uh, uh, how can I help you? I'm raided. Radiation is very dangerous. You should be more careful. Here you go. I, I don't even know if I was actually radiated. I guess I was. Uh, do you do operations? Operations. But of course. But it's very costly and time-consuming. Details? Well, I can make you stronger, more perceptive, increase... Wait a minute. He can improve... What? He can improve my stats? I can only do each operation once. Wow. Okay, how... Okay, this will probably cost money. But intelligence boost would be fantastic. It'll take three weeks and costs 6,000 scripts. Cost what? I have bottle caps. Wait. Where do I get these scripts? Fuck. Do I need to do some mission to them? Uh, I'll do it. If I have whatever that is. If, it, if that's the same same thing as the as the bottle caps. I'm sorry, but you are an outsider. After you're in the Brotherhood for 10 years or so, I'll be able to do the operation for free. But uh, but we have expenses and you're not a regular working member of the Brotherhood yet. Hmm. I got all excited. We can make him better than he was. Better, stronger, faster. The six million bottle cap man. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. So, at some, maybe, 
Maybe if I find the military base, report the location, then uh, then these guys would uh, actually let me do that. Hmm. Hey, Cherry. Hi there, you must be Brother, Zem Brother Zemolf, the new initiate from the outside. My name's Cherry, I'm your new... Oh, I'm your new roommate. I'm an initiate too. I've been studying so hard. Are you an initiate knight or knight of scribe? Uh, I haven't decided. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide. It's so tough. They're both really exciting. By the way, if you want to do the top bunk, just let me know. I don't mind. Okay, bye. Are you alright? Maybe you just need to see a doctor or something? Uh, you just need sleep? Well, I better get back to studying. Bye. Jeez, Jerry. Okay, it's a good thing I'm actually not staying here because... Uh, uh, I, I think me and Jerry would not get along. Hello. Just first, first thing I do is, uh, can I steal some of his stuff? I'm at the maximum carrying capacity. Jesus, am I really? All the all the hollow discs I've picked up has actually, and uh, right, okay. And also, why why do you have ammunition in your locker? But why do? Why do we have uh, 12 beds here? Anyway. And why why would I want the top bunk when we have so many options? Jeez, Jerry. Mm. Okay, I want to see if there's a... Uh... It is locked. I can't... I can't enter their rooms. Wow. Wow. I think it's time for me. I think it is time for me to go to the first floor. So wait a minute, did I did I get an official quest for that? Uh, I did not. I did not get an official quest to uh, explore the north. Maybe I should have asked for the caps. A brotherhood card, brotherhood card. Senior paladin. Uh, can I enter, enter the warehouse? Only scribes and paladins allowed in this room. They both said it in, in sync, almost. Fine. Um, right. Uh, that's why this guy was here, because I could sneak in and steal his uh, whatever the part was I need for the power armor. Mm. Mm. A little bit weird place, like big place, but then not much here. Uh, it was kind of a, I could talk one of the knights about, about something, so maybe I would learn something, or was it about the weapon? But there was there was no named characters there. Yeah, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Let's us go and um Four. Before we do anything, we would go. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Go ahead. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Captain. We would go. To the boneyard. Where I think I will get this thing upgraded even more. That's the that's the first place we'll go. And in the boneyard we will go and fight. We will go and fight the Death Claw. Do 
I need to go to the hop now? No. Unless I want to go to the hop and take a caravan. I might as well go through the hop. Let's see how the how the days. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, it's more rats. Now you know what I I want to give this a, I want to give this a go. Even even with my melee skills here. Okay, more rats. Eat this. Just ten. Well, I guess with uh, with a better with a better unarmed and stuff, I could I could do more than that. Well, I I wanted to give it uh, give it a go before I sell it. I guess. Hmm. Also, I, I need I need a place to just uh, dump some of that stuff because I I don't need it now. I don't need it now. I know I'm going back to the Brotherhood, so. Mm. I don't think I will actually need them, but I don't want to carry them and I don't want to sell them. Uh, so wait a minute, level 2 was where our room was, right? So let's make it make it like we, uh, we would do it for reals and let's store our stuff into our room. Maybe, maybe we'll let Cherry read our holo, holo discs. So, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm taking the right hand side, Jerry. Um, I will leave these here. We are probably not going back there, and I will store each and every one of these here. I don't think I will need them. No one will ask for them, but I will. Store them here, just because. Uh, I would really like the motion sensor to be integrated into my Pip Boy, but I'm not sure if that's happening. I might just sell that or keep it with me because we are we are kind of okay with the carrying capacity as soon as I sell. Um. As soon as I sell some of the stuff I'm carrying. And I will... At the hub I will... Turn some of the stuff I have... Into... Science books. To learn computer science things. Um, and then we'll go to the boneyard. Yep. So in the boneyard we can pimp out our power armor. I assume we will be able to pimp this out because uh, and then uh, when we deal with the death claw, hopefully successfully, we would be getting the weapons for the blades, which potentially leads into attack of the center to uh, free up that part of town. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So. Uh, and the librarian is uh, downtown. Is the library open at night? Heck yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, 
Well, that is actually true about the motion center because <laughs> I can just look around the map. That is that is very true. The shotgun. Oh wait, is that is this is this sniper rifle? This sniper rifle I have here is an extra. And Katya is still carrying the turbo one, so I can st I can sell that one. I'm almost holding on to this one for like sentimental reasons. Okay, she she has infinite books. They they refresh. They refresh. Uh, okay, actually, just a moment. Oh, that is right. I think Katya might actually be able to... I already gave her to... Okay, but what I want to check is that I have a sniper rifle there. Okay, good. You know what? That's... Uh... I will actually give her that and... Uh... Give her that and some of these. There's no space left for that. Shit. Oh! I did have the laser pistol, but Kat Katya was carrying it. Fuck. Oh, crap. Why didn't I check? I remembered I sold them already. Yeah. 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 To sell something before I do anything. Okay. Okay. First of all, put your weapons. Yep. Talk to you. Water. Armor, would I, would I like ever actually use the stealth boy? I don't think I would. Jeez, you can get a lot of money for that. Amazing. All right, and I wait. Is this why? Why was this in a different stack? It's confusing. Uh, you don't have much money. Let's buy the five science books at the moment. Did you not give any money for that? No, I did. Confused myself. Okay, let's just uh, let's just cover that with uh, monies. Uh, uh, get uh, get a bunch of science. Am I okay letting those go? Uh, you know what? Actually, this might still be loaded. Just double checking. Oh, I emptied it. Take it. Here we go. Weapons. Weapons. Weapons for science. Okay, let's see where we get. Uh, science 63. Also, let's see how, how long this takes. 13th of May. For days and days. Uh, okay, it actually didn't take much, much time. But it did take my science to 76. 91 is the maximum with, uh, with books. Okay, the rest of the stuff I have... I will... 
sell at the pony art. But we will now take uh, actually keep. Oh, you had a you had an extra extra submachine gun. I didn't notice that. Okay, um, just a 14 millimeter pistol. Let's give that to you as well, so you have options, whatever you want to use. And let's give you like uh, four of those. No space left. Okay, what will I carry instead? I think I will start carrying the plasma rifle myself and these because I I want to have them. I think I will take those from you as well. But then you have. Uh... Oh, wait. I need to and I did not give you this yet because we didn't carry it. Wait, are we, are we now like. Uh... Are we now like stuck stuck here with, uh, with the space we have? Oh, come on. Ah. <sighs> I could do the trading window, but that's uh, uh, I'm not sure which way the money would actually go there. Okay, this is so. Uh, uh, okay, I need I need more space from myself, so I will do the switch in the boneyard when I sell stuff. I wanted to do here. No. Uh, the boneyard is the place to go because I, that's where I can pimp out this armor and that's our, our main goal and then after that that might even give, even, even give me that one extra strength, who knows. Maybe the plus four is in the, in the improved one. And then, uh, then I would not be stuck here. I can even put some stuff away temporarily. Uh, she does have a weapon now if we get into a fight, so it's fine. And um, speaking of which... Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, danger, danger, danger for Katya. Okay, that's a lot of, that's a lot of people for her. Oh, shit, okay. Mm. Not good, not good. They need, they need to all attack me. They need to all attack me. She can't die here. Uh, I need I I need her I need her <laughs> to take some damage or take some hits from the death claw. Uh, okay, how do I? I need to shoot as many of them as possible to acro them on me. So I will shoot this guy. I will shoot this guy. Shoot me. Shoot me. Yes. Good. Oh, come on, Katya. Okay, that one is shooting. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this one guy is shooting Katya. Everyone else is on me. Good. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Katya, you have... There we go. Thank you. She does have the the 14 millimeter pistol. Okay, this guy is shooting Katya. Everyone else is on me, which is great. Get out of here. Good. Exactly. She's carrying half my stuff. That's 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 true. I was I was thinking about the future future meat shield. She will uh, she will be nice shot, Katya. Back of the head. I'm using all the knowledge I got got from Grandmaster Thomas. I'm not uh, I'm dodging dodging their hits here. Bunk. Hey, 
you are you are mine to kill. No, sir, I think you are mine to kill. Ooh. <laughs> In the last turn of the combat, the guy greeted me. Nice. Good job, Katya. I'm I'm happy they. Uh, whoa, whoa. I am happy they uh, they decided to uh, come after uh, come after me. All this. They they all had all had hunting rifles, but they decided to come and punch the guy in a power armor. <sighs> okay, yeah. Good job, Raiders. Good job. I don't know how they survived this long, to be honest. But that was dumb. Well done. I wonder if any of the NPCs will comment on my power armor. So I think it you you uh, they haven't seen it that often. Nope, no comments. They are just we're watching you. And the question is, will you pimp this out and what will it do? Will I get more strength? Will I go better than AC35? Looks like you found some power armor. I've heard of chemical bruises that I could use to harden the surface of the armor. However, I'm missing some information which could... Wait, what? Uh... I'm missing some information which, could, which would give me the last few clues, the formula and regions necessary. I've heard the librarian in the hub, Mrs. Stapleton, has some journals and books that might be of use. Oh, please tell me... Okay. I hope they are special books, not that not that the science books I just read. Uh, if you could get those from he from there, I could probably test the process on your arm. Test the process. Uh, okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. I just came from there, so it would have been so nice. For you to give that the information before I had the armor, but but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. We will get it. We will get it. We have uh, oh shit. Wait, I I will tell Katya to stay here. Well, she she's already staying here. Uh, Katya. Uh, uh, Hello. Wait, you see Lorraine? Wait, what? Who is that? Wait, did I just found a new NPC? Thanks for me. Thanks to Katia for me looking at this one. Uh, yeah, I'm new. I'm Zimov. I'm Lorraine, can I ask you a few questions? Have I talked to this person? Uh... It used to be a big city called Los Angeles. The bombs hit really hard. Now there's just Angel's Boneyard. We added towners are just trying to survive. Can you tell me more about Los Angeles? Lots of people lived here. From what I heard, the survivors hid in a big place called a vault and came out years later. Some of them started the regulators and then founded Aditum. Uh, while the others formed blades, the gunrunners aren't from here originally. Where is this vault? Supposedly it was somewhere south of here. Yeah, I think it's uh, on the 
uh, below the cathedral. Mm. Oh, she will tell a lot. Can you tell me about Son Zimmerman? Zimmerman watches over our town. He take make sure that everyone gets fed. Uh, someone else, Caleb. Caleb is the leader of the regulators. It's his job to protect Aditum. He seems to enjoy a little, little more than he should. Uh, Miles. A resident chemist. Miles makes bullets and he also built a water distiller that makes sure we get clean water from the well. He's working on an underground farm right now, but he's missing some parts. I got them from him already. Uh, Tyne. Tyne runs the shop. It's in the bunker near the... Oh! Yeah, so we actually could have learned the information by talking to people. Uh, someone else? Uh, the shop at the bunker, I mean. Uh, Smithing. Smithy is tinker of sorts. He's good at repair work. He casts bullets and fixes broken stuff around town. Oh, cool. This was uh, kind of interesting information, which actually reminds me. There was the fortune teller here. Yeah? Uh, he said that I would be, I would go north and uh, I would go for, go north and fight something. So basically, uh, giving me information. But I have. Let's see if I have something more. Uh, I'm looking for a little advice. Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. Let me consult the cards. Uh, Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a radio tower and a card with a picture of a man in a suit with a scepter. The tower and the emperor. Oh, wait, what? A great change awaits by the hand of, the, of a powerful leader. Whether that change is death, I cannot tell. Oh. Okay. That's a bad omen. That is a bad omen right there. Uh, can I do this again? Chuck pulls out a card with a picture of a man dancing on a nuclear warhead. The fool. I cannot help you. You must make your own way into the world. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, where was I? Uh, yeah, back to the hub. Back to the hub, back to the hub. I will actually end end here pretty soon, but I think I will make this run because this is just busy work here. So we will no wait back get back uh get back to edit him. Uh talk to Katya. Um Stay here. Stay here. Stay safe. You come across a herd of wild Brahmin. You feel there is something wrong. Uh, moo, I say. Moo, I say. Huh? Moo. 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 Moo, I say. Hmm. I was hoping I could I could talk. I will I will not shoot the cows. A little bit like what's uh, there's maybe something you could do there other than shoot them downtown, Mrs. Stapleton. Give me books about the armor. And do we have a set of chemistry journals? Miles in Editum said you might. Uh, 750 bucks, sure. Here it is. Here you are, sir. Say hello to Miles. I will. Thank you. Oh. It is chemistry journals, but looks like science. Okay, I will not read that just in just in case it actually consumes it for uh consumes it for normal science learning. 
That's all I have. Come on, Peter Paul Armor. We made we made excellent progress today. We went to the glow, that was amazing. We got the stuff. We got to the Brotherhood. We immediately got a uh, little bit lucky. Because I may, maybe I would have gotten a quest to look for the initiate. But kind of uh, we kind of lucked out by uh, going to the hub. Uh, looking for um, uh, looking for a way to get to the weapons guy and um, and uh, Kim Kim uh, Kim Cheller seller so uh, yeah kind of accidentally rescuing the rescuing the initiate that got me uh, got me the power armor right away so that was that was really nice uh, anyway here are the books uh, hmm, hmm, he mumbles. Uh, hmm. Well, I think I can figure it out, but it will take a full day for the bonding to occur. Yes, that is acceptable. Mile takes your armor from you. Oh, this better work. Mile hands your armor back to you. It seems to glint a little more than it did before. Well, I think it worked. Hope it helps you out. Okay. Hardened power armor. The AZ stayed the same. It weighs more. Wait, what? Uh, wait, what this? What did this actually do? Maybe the AC did not update. Wait a minute. Let's go there. Now it's now it's ten. Oh right, right, right. It, oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't give AC. It gives the resistances. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the same. But it give. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage resistance fifty. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it updated these ones. Damage resistance, poison resistance, radius. Probably at. Probably the damage resistance went up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I was actually hoping it would... Well, well the damage resistance going up, that does, of course, kind of reduce the damage, not just the AC. So that's, uh, that's cool. Those do help as well, kind of against some special, special, um, attacks. Uh, but yeah, it is now midnight for me, so it is time to say goodbye. And, uh, here on the stream... I will continue next week. Next week's Thursday. Um, if I do any extra streams in between, they will not be of this game. So this continues next Thursday. And uh, yeah, next Thursday with um, next Thursday with uh, five more hours. Let's see, uh, let's see how far we get. Uh, I'm here doing some maintenance things. I'm, I'm giving, giving Katya to, Katya to weapon by getting some stuff away from her. So that's one. That's one. Let's see if I have uh, space to actually give, uh, give her this now. Do uh, right. She's she's wielding the 14 millimeter now. Can uh, can I give you this one? No space left. Hmm. 
let's take that away, let's take that away from her and give, give her these. Okay, can you can you get like one? Okay, thank you. Or I think I will actually sell. No, just keep. You have a you have a lot of weapons. That's that's forty shots on that. So that's fine. You 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 work with that. Okay, right. Goes over over me. Okay, I could buff out and just uh, carry all this stuff for now, so it would still work. Then I would have to wait, well, hmm. You know what, actually, let's do that. Let's take the buff out. Just carry all this stuff. Carry all this stuff, and then uh, well, actually one more thing. Yeah, yeah, I was I was about to go here, but uh, now we can uh, now we can take something from. She actually can't carry much stuff, can she? Yeah. Mm. She's not much of a mule when I give her that many that many weapon options. Okay, but uh, that's fine. We have the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle for the death claw. Um, hmm. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Reset, reset. Uh, we might actually want this for ourselves. For the death glow fight, because we can shoot twice in the eyes with that. Yeah. Okay, so we, because we will start the net next time with the death glow. Death glow mother. Yeah, because with uh, with this I can shoot twice into the eyes of the death glow mother. Yeah, we need that. From from the distance and with uh, with other death claws. I can kite them, kite them with this, and kind of uh, that will that will work fine. Okay, good. Uh, save, uh, save. End of stream. Okay, this is actually the end of stream five, so we will save there, and we are done. Good, good, good. But yeah, this this has been fantastic to play through. This today was great. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. And hope to see as many of you as possible next week when we do this. And uh, if not, you can watch this on a later date on YouTube. And uh, if you are there in the future watching this on YouTube, I thank you for watching. And uh, you will find more parts in the channel and in the playlist that is in the video description. With all that said, I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.